the notion that Palestinians and Jews who can't even negotiate a two-state solution would coexist in one happy state is so ludicrous that only the naive or malicious could fall for it. This was a statement made by an Israeli analyst called uh, Yussi Klein. Um, as the, my, hello everyone, my name is Maryam Yahya, and as the opposition leader, I am here to tell you why the opposition believes that the Israeli-Palestinian conflict cannot be solved by a one-state solution. As we all know, the, con the conflict between Israel and Palestine has been going on for more than 40 years. Both parties have faced tragic loss, loss whether death or destruction of property and rights. And that is why, as the opposition, we believe that merging those two entities together will not solve the problem. I would like to start uh, my speech uh, by highlighting the first point as to why the opposition does not believe that the conflict fo calls for a one-state solution. First of all, it's because in reality, it would not be a one-state solution. It is not really a merger. It will basically be a disguised takeover. One entity will take over another. Why? Because looking at the nature of the relationship between those two entities, it is very clear that one party is more dominant than the other. It is very clear that Israel has more power than Palestine on three aspects. Whether militarily, and as the uh, Prime Minister clearly highlighted, the atrocities created by the Israeli army. And it's not surprising because according to a congressional research research service, the Israeli army receives 55% of the aid U.S. provides to the entire world. So more than half of the, the military aid provided by the U.S. to the entire world go, goes directly to the Israeli army specifically. So no wonder they are a lot stronger than Palestinian opposition. Another aspect where uh, Israel dominates the, pal the, the Palestine is politically. Looking at the Israeli figures of authority, their political system, it is very clear that they have a unified government with very clear and very strong figureheads. However, looking at the opposition, that the Palestine's um, leaders and figures, they have a very weak opposition against the Israeli government, and it is just jointed by Palestinian rebels such as Hamas, who do not necessarily agree with the Palestinian government's actions, and so they are fighting. So, Palestinian authority is disjointed while Israeli authority is combined. And finally, the last aspect as to why Israel do dominates uh, Palestine uh, in, when it comes to strength is their economic strength. Now, it is also very clear to see that Israeli, the Israeli economy is a lot stronger than the Palestinian economy. Looking at GDP alone, the Israeli GDP uh, of last year was $291 billion compared to Palestinian GDP of only $11.3 billion. $11.3, ladies and gentlemen, compared to $200 billion. Can you see the difference? Not only that, but Palestine is very economically dependent on Israel when it comes to trade. 27, uh, Palestine imports what is equivalent to 27% of its GDP from Israel. And they export what is worth 81% of their GDP to Israel. So basically, it is very clear to see that Israel is the biggest trading partner with Palestine and not on good terms of trade. So the fact that Israel is more dominant on these three aspects than Palestine makes it that the reality is that a one state would not create a merger, but it's basically a takeover due to the dominance of one party over the other. Basically, Israel will be threatening Palestinian existence. Now, the government might claim that Israeli settlements already exist, and the Prime Minister highlighted that there is an unfair distribution of land between the two entities, which is true, because Israel, there are, right now there are more than 500 Israeli settlements on Palestinian land, illegal settlements, and these settlements violate human rights. So what we are suggesting here by creating one state, unifying such entities, is basically we are legalizing the existence of such, such settlements. Right now, because two, the two entities are separate, it is very clear to the international community that Israel is violating international law with the existence of such settlements. And it is true that there has been a lot of a condemnation from the international community to the presence of such settlements. Take, for example, the United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon stated that settlement building is in, is in, in Palestinian land is an affront to the Palestinian community. 
Another major player in the international community, the, the European Union, threatened to cut trade with all businesses that are set in settlement territories. Not only that, there is a very strong Palestinian movement called BDS, Boycott, Divestment and Sanctioning, that is um, promoting the boycott and um, uh, sanctioning of all Israeli businesses set in Palestinian lands. So, ladies and gentlemen, the, these settlements are already very strong. However, they are facing very strong uh, opposition from the international community. If we allow both entities to merge, then we would be uh, legalizing the creation of settlements and therefore Israel would have more ability to take over Palestine. The second point that, uh, as the opposition, we believe um, negates the call for a one-state solution is because a unified state contradicts the, the main purpose of Israel. Now, the Zionist movement was created in the beginning to form Israel which, with the purpose of it being an exclusively Jewish state. And it is very clear in their statements that they do not wish to allow uh, Palestinians in the land. If we were to allow Palestinians to, if we were to allow a unified state where Palestinians and Israelis were exist, this is not even plausible because Israel in itself does not support this idea. So to sum up my speech, ladies and gentlemen, as the opposition, we believe that the Israeli-Palestinian conflict does not call for a one-state solution because <laughs> because in reality, it is not really a merger, it will be a disguised takeover where one entity dominates the other and because the whole idea to begin with is, to begin with is not plausible because it violates and contradicts the main purpose of the state of Israel and so will never be internationally accepted.